Yes, sir. You already know what time it is, man. Back here to start some more game on the ground for them hungry hounds. Just get up the pound and are ready for the next round. So that being said, make sure you have your snacks, your drinks, whatever the case may be. Because we're going to jump right into this episode, dude. In this episode, we're talking about how patience pays off. And that is 100% facts. You know, if there's something that you're working at or something that you're trying to do, trying to build, whatever the case may be, patience always pays off. What it do, what it do, man. Yeah. Y'all can see this say Sonic on it. It don't say nothing else that it ain't supposed to be, so. But no, man, with that being said, patience pays off because, and this is what I'm going to do right here because I already don't like the name, so I'm going to do that right there. Bam. Just like that because I already know you're going to be the one to let Keisha out first, so I'm going to get Keisha out before Keisha let Keisha out. So with that being said, man, patience pays off. Um, if there's something that you're trying to build, You can't make it up. And I guarantee you, he doesn't know a damn thing about it. Any of the props that he took. Uh. <laughs> you can't make it up, bro. You can't make it up. I guarantee you, he don't know a single thing about the props that he took either. Nothing. But with that being said, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about how when you have patience, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right here since you want to, uh, yeah, you want to talk at a turn, guess what, boom, just like that, that's what we do. But um, everybody that you see that owns a business, everybody that you see that has reached the higher levels in society as far as status-wise, they have built something that has got them to that point. Now... It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a business. It could be a company. It could be, you know, like a, a Walmart type store. It could be a, um, a appliance type store. Whatever the case may be, anything that could help them get to the next level, they've built up, right? But they didn't build it up in, in a, a month or a year. It took them a long time to build it up. It took them a long time. Elon Musk had to have a lot of patience to build Tesla. Uh, and this is what I'm going to do, because, yeah, no, nah, it's not, I don't, nah, 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 nah. Elon Musk, it took him a long time to build Tesla. Mark Zuckerberg took him a long time to build Meta, what you know as Facebook and Instagram. Uh, it took everybody that owns a major part of everybody's life a long time to build. <clears throat> and they had patience through it all because I guarantee you that if they didn't, they would have given up a long time ago and they wouldn't be where they're at right now. That's 100% facts. So whenever it is that you're trying to do, you got to have patience in whatever it is you're trying to do. And this is what I'm going to do right here. Boom. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and do that right there. Yeah, okay, this is what I'm going to do right here. Since you want to play games, bet. You're gone. Hit that extra button so you can never come back up in here again. How about that? But, um... It's going to take you a long time to get to where you're trying to get to. And everybody nowadays wants it now. I want it now. Now, 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 now. Give it to me now. They got to have it within a week. They got to have it within a month. They got to have it everywhere. They got to have it any time they want, right? And this is what I'm going to do right here. Boom. Just like that. Since y'all want to continue letting Keish out, we're going to... And you're going gonna to make it to where y'all can't even say nothing. You want me to take your... your Speaking privileges away. Huh? You want me to make y'all sit down and be quiet? Go stand in the corner? Patience is key. It's 100% facts. I will make every single one of y'all go stand in the corner if you, if you want to keep playing around. Keep keep playing. You ain't going to be able to talk. Keep playing. Keep playing. That's what I'm going to do right there. Because nobody asked. Anyways. Yeah, that's what I thought. Everybody wants what they want now. Everybody wants to get where they're trying to get to now. Everybody wants it now. They don't... Yeah, I know. It's crazy, bro. 
Uh, they don't want to go down the journey. They don't want to walk down the road. They don't want to put in the hard work. They don't want to work for success. They don't want none. They want to do none of that. They just want it in their lap and they want it now. When in reality, that's not going to happen that way. What's going to happen is you are going to work and 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 work and work and work and work and work and continue working and continue working. Until you finally get to where you're trying to get to. He said, I'm the CEO of an electrical contract company. I started in 2008. Yes, what I'm saying, man, sometimes it might take you five years. Sometimes it might take you seven years, ten years. could even take you 20, 30 years to get to where you're trying to get to. It's not quite as much about getting to your destination. Obviously, you want to get to your destination. But it's what you learn along the way on the journey to your destination that matters a lot. Because what you learn will help shape you as a human being once you get to where you're trying to get to. If you don't learn anything along the journey, then there is no point in you even going down that road. Every road that everybody goes down, they go down it for a reason. It has a lesson. Lessons that it teaches everybody. And you have to pay attention, you have to learn, you have to listen, you have to make sure that whatever mistakes that you make, you learn from those mistakes, that way you never make them again. Whenever you come across that crossroad, you're like, hey, nah, I remember what happened last time, and this is what I'm going to do right here. I remember what happened last time, so I ain't going to do that same thing again, you know, that way you can get around, that way you can be as proficient and successful as you possibly can be once you get to where you're going to. That way you can continue going because everybody makes mistakes when they're starting out. Everybody does things that they wish they wouldn't have. Everybody does things that they wish. Everybody didn't do things that they wish they would have. And so you learn from those things. That way once you get there, you can be a better human being. You can be better at what it is that you're doing. That way you can maintain it. Everything that you learn along the way is important for you to know when you get to your destination. That's 100% facts. If you try to rush it and skip over certain things, guess what? You're going to miss out on certain things on key uh, lessons, key objectives. And guess what? Yeah, yeah, your destination is right here. Yeah, that's where your destination is. I don't know what it is that you said because it didn't go through, so you're going to have to re-say it again. But if you're skipping out on lessons, you're going to skip out on certain things you need to learn. And what you might learn now, you might not need right now. This is what I'm going to do right here. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. You can't make it up, bro. People, you can't make it up. This is what I'm going to do. Because you're talking about all the wrong things, bro. All the wrong things. See, y'all ain't even focused on your destination. You focused on another man. This is what I'm saying, bro. This is what I'm saying. Y'all be focused on another man instead of your own destination. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. But anyways, what you might learn now on your journey, you might not need now. But later on, you're going to need you know, it's just like school in a way. It's just like school in a way. You learn how to read, even though you don't necessarily need to know how to read at that young of an age. You learn it then so you can use it later. Same thing with math. You don't necessarily need to use math at a young age, but you learn it early, early, excuse me, so you can use it later. That's how these journeys are whenever you're trying to get to where you're trying to get to. He is jealous of all our potential because God done with him. That's 100% facts. I don't know who you're talking about, but I don't know if you had another comment before that, but it's like picking and choosing what it sends through. You know how it be sometimes. But, um, no, man. Oh, Lucy. Oh, yeah, no, that's 100% facts. Yeah, he had, he, he, he was, he was predestined for, uh, eternal life and he thought that, that wasn't good enough, so... He decided to go throw her down the drain. I tell you what, boy, if I was predestined for eternal life, I wouldn't, I don't think I would do that. I don't think that I would do that. That wants to go overthink about a past time. I don't think that I would do that. 
that wants to go overthink about a past time to. The devil wants us to go overthink our past time so that we forget about the present. And that's 100% facts. And see, look, uh, I don't remember exactly the way he said it. Some I heard somebody say it earlier that looking back on your past is actually a sin. But it's not like lust or it's not like a pride or it's not like thief like 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 thievery. I'm fun to do this right here because you you asking out of turn, talking out of turn, you gotta go. But it's a sin as far as taking your eyes off of God, right? Because God is not behind you. God is in front of you. Jesus Christ is in front of you, not behind you. And so when you stop moving towards him, you turn around and look behind you. Now you're stuck. He say, keep your eyes on him, right? Same thing he told Peter when Peter got up at that boat on the water. He said, just keep your eyes on me. Look at me. Look straight. But Peter looked to the left, looked to the right, looked behind him, looked behind him to the boat where he came from. And guess what happened? He fell. That's why you don't supposed to stay looking behind you. Now, I think it's, I don't know. He said, those Insta pages be trying to make you sad about what used to be to stop you from what is. That's 100% facts. But see, the thing is, you can, life is beautiful when Jesus is there, and that's 100% facts. The thing is, you can choose to make it make you sad, or you can choose to just smile and be like, yeah, I remember those times, and then go forward, you know? And this is what I'm going to do right here. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad I caught that account. I'm so glad I caught that account. Get that out of here ASAP. I already know. He probably tried to comment something that didn't go through. But I think it depends on how you look back. What's your What's your reason for looking back? Are you looking back like, damn, dude, I, I wish I didn't do that. I really wish I wouldn't do that. I didn't do that. Uh, or are you looking back like, yeah, I remember those times. Man. Or are you looking back like, yeah, I remember those times. Those were some good times. And then you keep going forward. Because there's a difference. You can look back and get stuck in the past. We can look back and, and, and admire how far you've come as a person. How far society has come as a whole versus what we had back then compared to now. While still going forward. So I think me personally, it depends on how you look back. When I see those videos... Oh, uh, you know, the old days back in the early 2000s and the late 90s and whatnot. What we used to have, you know, and all that stuff. I just can't help but smile because it's like, yeah, I remember those times. And then I just keep going. Like, I just, I, I can't help but smile. You got to choose not to let it get you depressed. You got to choose to not let it get you sad. Because a lot of people, when they see that stuff, they get caught up in, in the I wish cycle. I call it the I wish I wish we could go back. I wish we still had this. I wish we still had that. But the thing is, you can't go back. So all you can do is just smile. Remember the times. Appreciate them for what they were. And move forward. That's all you can do. There's no point in living in the past. You know, another thing that, some, that the same person said earlier about looking back is a sin. He said... Another reason why is because it's a, it's a sin to look back is because the things that you've done in the past are washed away by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, right? What he did for us, for you, for me, for everybody else on the cross. He covered everything that you're going to do and everything that you did do. You know, it, scripture even say that God knew everything that you were going to do before he formed you in the womb, before he chose you. And he still chose you. He still chose us. So, it's a sin to look back on your past and wish that you could have done things different. Because everything that you did back then is wiped away. Everything is gone. 
Now, if you're living in the past, you're not looking at Jesus. You're looking at the devil. You got your eyes on the devil versus looking at, the, at God. And that's a sin because now when you're looking at the devil and you're focused on the devil that's behind you, you're going to start worshiping him. You're going to start worshiping the past. When you start constantly thinking about the past, what you did, or the old times, how much you wish you could go back, and this and that, then you start worshiping the devil, the things of old. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm going to go ahead and just get you up on out of here, dog, because you're speaking out of turn. You're supposed to just listen. But yeah, man, it's, it's, I think it, I, overall, I think it just depends on how you look at it, how you look back, what's your reasoning for looking back. Are you looking back to admire how far you've come? Are you looking back to appreciate those times for what they were? Or are you looking back because you wish you could go back because you have regret of what you did or what you didn't do? Or because you wish you could go back to those times because those were better times? It depends. I personally believe that it depends. But your personal beliefs versus what the truth is are two very different things. They might it might be right, it might not be right. That's just like how everybody has subjugated truth to feelings, truth to emotions, truth to opinions versus truth to facts. But we're not going to get into that because we already did all that yesterday. So with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure to share with your friends, your families, mummies, and aunties, and grannies, and everybody else you'll know. I'm going to be going live on YouTube in a little bit, checking out your boy, uh, the Younger TT brother, Younger T brother, uh, the part three to the interview he did with Jack Neal. So with that being said, the link is in my bio. Y'all can go tap that, whatever, go subscribe to Tap the bell notification so you can turn on notifications. Tap the bell icon so you can turn on post notifications. I am i don't know what I'm saying. But um, that way you get notified every time I go live and or upload a video over there. With that being said, I'll see y'all over there. He be speaking facts. I'm going to tell you what. Yesterday when I did part two, when I did part two, he said, what about, oh, shit, shit. I forgot about chat GPT yet. I'm gonna have to see if I if I if I have that if I can get it on there. If I can get it on there, I'll do a little bit of chat GPT messing around with it. But if I can't get it on there, then it is what it is. I have to figure it out another time. So with that being said, man, I'll see y'all over there on YouTube. Deuce.